Greetings, brethren. It is the donkey back with Donkey vs. Beer, and we are still on our road trip through Denmark. And uh, now we have to tackle a brewery that is actually going to also be the brewery that does tomorrow's beer. Uh, and it's Carlsberg. Now, this isn't a regular Carlsberg because they make all sorts of different beers as well. This is a Carlsberg Elephant, which is a strong beer. There's also an, uh, an extra strong version of this, which I think is 10.5%. Um, but honestly, I've never had either one of them, so I thought I'd go with the regular Elephant. And uh, we'll see if that's any good. And if it is, then, you know, I'll, I'll give the extra strong version a try as well. Also, something that I've just realized by seeing myself on the other screen is that this channel is actually pretty awesome because I can sort of live track my, my weight loss uh, progress. And I think, uh, you know, there's, there's definitely already some evidence. So that's pretty cool and makes me feel good. <laughs> so let's have this beer to reward ourselves. I expect this to be rather dark. Nope, it's not. All right. That's how wrong I am. Will it fit? Ooh. I chickened out. Alright, so I'm very interested in this beer because this basically looks like, I mean, this this is barely Pilsner colored. This is almost like what a pale lager looks like. So, very interested to see, you know, how they get it to taste. Well, uh, very interested to see how the taste is because of the higher uh, alcohol content. Also... This was made in Germany. Excellent. Always good. Uh, I don't know, the smell is very kind of... I don't know, I'm not really getting anything from that, so that's, let's just have a go. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. So that's a dangerous beer because you do not taste that this is, you know, one and a half beers. Um, it's very savory. It's not actually that insanely bitter. I, it, it's definitely not reaching Pilsner levels. Uh, but there is, there is some good, you know, zesty bitterness going on there. But it is, it is smoky almost. Like there, there's, a, there's a real character to this one. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, so speaking of my weight loss, I've started... Um, well, the, the way I initially started losing weight was by going on a lot of walks. I would just start going 10 minutes in one direction, turning around, going back home, and do that every day. Um, because when I started losing weight, I was at a level where... Uh, jogging, completely out of the question. Probably even cycling, out of the question. Um, and uh, at the time, I wasn't really too interested in going to the pool. So, walking was really the thing, right? Uh, also, some, lifting some weights and such. And so, I just kept that going. And I kept getting more and more and more. And now I'm really into it. And now I like hiking and trekking. Like, I don't know, one of them... One of them bearded folks with the glasses. Um, but it's just something I really enjoy now. And I am up to a point where I can walk just... Uh, I don't know, what was the... Like, one of my... I, I basically... I do about an hour every day. Um, more or less. And uh, whatever else I walk during the day. And then once a week I like to have a big trek, a big hike. And so that's a, that averages around, uh, I would say, 15 kilometers. And, like, it's not... I know that's not that much, but I, I think it's a pretty decent distance to walk in a day. 
and it's um, it's not something that knocks me on my ass. You know, I I can just keep going after that. So, yeah, I I'm really happy with that. I'm really proud of that, and um, I I hope that that I can just keep going and doing more of that because it's it's been really enjoyable. I must say, uh, it's something that. I don't know, I, I think subconsciously I've missed as well as, as just going out into nature. Uh, where I grew up, or how I grew up, I did have a lot of uh, contact with just the outdoors. And uh, a lot of experience also with camping and, you know, survival and all that sort of stuff. And then for some reason I just stopped doing that in my teen, uh, teenage years. And uh, basically just played video games all day. I did not much else. So, yeah, I don't know, and, and that, you know, it kind of ruined me for a few years, and then I kind of got back to, you know, uh, at least losing weight and, and working out and stuff, and now it's, uh, yeah, it's something that I, that I really miss when I can't do it. So when, when the weather is really awful, or uh, last year I had some, some nasty problems with my back that put me in bed for a while, uh, I really started missing, you know, trekking and walking and hiking and, yeah, going outside and hearing the trees. So, yeah, pretty pretty happy that I'm back to that. There's really not much else to say about this beer. It's definitely one I would have again, but it's not, I don't know. It's certainly on the on the lower echelon of that. Much kind of kind of similar to to uh, the one I had yesterday. The one I'm I'm not allowed to say without having to <laughs> without having to uh, uh, censor myself. Um, but it's it's very different. Where that one was a lot more just pleasant, just a pleasant drinking beer. This is definitely something more to be savored because the more you drink of it, the more sort of um, strong the taste becomes. It, it just kind of builds up a lot. Hmm. Yeah, it keeps building. And the more... And the, the if you drink it quickly, it builds up a little bit too much. At least for me. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. I would give this... I'm only going to give it a 5 out of 10, because I gave yesterday's beer, Faxa, a 5.5, uh, and I don't like it as much, this one, so I will do that. Maybe I should have given Faxa a 6 out of 10, but, well, too late now, so this is going to get 5 out of 10, and I think that's still fair. I think it's fine. Uh, I think this is going to be one that will appeal more to people who do not like uh, the sort of strong uh, uh, bitterness of a pilsner, or who don't like um, you know pale lagers or lagers in general. I think this is more of a a sort of upper echelon type lager that goes more toward uh, more traditional ones. I'm actually not sure if this is a, um, a top fermentation or a bottom fermentation. I would have to Google that, and I'm not going to do that on video. So we're just gonna we're just gonna guess and say that I it kind of feels like a top fermentation, but I could be very wrong on that. It's certainly pretty enjoyable, which is honestly something I didn't expect. I kind of expected this to be um, a bit more sour, maybe, but it's not at all. It's just really, really savory. So yeah, pretty pretty decent. Five out of ten. Would would definitely get again uh, in certain circumstances. Not something I would drink every day, but it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. And with that, I think I'll leave you guys tonight because I do still have some more work to do. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And uh, please come again on another day for another beer. And uh, we'll continue this road trip and end it tomorrow with... Uh, another beer that is put out by this brewery. So then, take care guys. <laughs>